Hey everybody, checking in from New York City here and want to talk a little bit about the significance to a productive day, the significance of ecology. And I study, well, I study these things so you don't have to, but you know, I'm sitting here uh, borrowing an office from a mentor of mine, Frances Hesselbein. You've heard or read me talk about her in the past. And one of the most important things that I can ask you to think about is literally, where is your best work being done? Where is the environment that when you're in that space, it's easy for you to focus, to produce, to engage in that work that you're doing? And so if you kind of look around the space that you're in right now, some of you are going to be watching this on the desk, you're on the trading floor, you're, you've got noise and, and, and environmental um, uh, focus issues going on, people vying for your attention, the phone ringing, the email coming in. Uh, others of you, you might be working out of your home office where it's as, you know, so quiet you can hear a pin drop. And yet there's the, the mental distraction of what needs to be done, what you need to focus on in that space. And so here's a tip that I can give you that uh, I've been using this for, for a long time. I've been on the road uh, working for 12 years now. And uh, let's see, I take about 120 to 130 flights per year. I stay in hotels 200 to 220 nights per year. And whether I'm in my home office, whether I'm in a co-working space, whether I'm borrowing a mentor or a client's office, what I attempt to do is decide on entry what is the best work to do in that space? So I'll ask you to ask that question right now. In the environment you're in, and by the way, if you're at that desk 8, 10, 12 hours a day, what you may want to consider is saving some work or some things that need your focus for a separate area. And I know this sounds a little bit counterintuitive, right? I mean, during the, during the work hours, you want to get as much done as possible across all fronts. But... I challenge you for five days to consider for yourself what is the best work you can be doing in the environment you're in. And so if I can give you kind of a checklist of, of things to think about for ecology, right, the environment that you're, that you're working in, one would be how accessible are the tools that you need, the tools that you use all the time. How well do you know those tools? And for example, if you're always carrying around a notebook and at your desk you could write something in there in a meeting, you could write something in there on the train or on a plane, you could write something in there. Take a look at how you're using that tool and if there's any efficiencies that you could run with. Um, what else would I take a look at is how is the environment conducive to focus? Uh, how does the environment compromise focus and there's probably one or maybe two things that you might be able to do I've actually had people tell me they come in earlier in the day uh, that other people tell me that during the day they'll turn to a neighbor and they'll simply request ask say uh, hey you know I'm about to dive into a, a, a PowerPoint or an Excel spreadsheet or I'm, I'm about to review some materials and if I could get maybe a 30 minute 45 minute window if you could hold some distractions if you could just kinda keep those off to the side that would be fantastic um, other things that you can do to really engage in that focus process by the way if you have an idea of something that you do that really works would you let us know? Uh, send me an email or drop a comment anywhere and share those tips with us so that we can continue moving that mission forward.